good evening. I'm doing a new video thing this year in which I'm going to review my month. Largely for my benefit, but also it's going to include things like chronic illness updates that don't deserve their own video, and just fun things, and keeping me accountable on my 2021 goals. This month has been a busy one and I have got lots done and lots of things checked off, I've said goals list. If you don't remember what my goals were, go and refresh yourself with my 2021 bullet journal setup. So you might have already seen this video, it's called I've never seen a plain white piece of paper, because I haven't, because I managed to go to the optician and get the mysterious thing with my eyes recognised and diagnosed. Turns out I have something called visual snow syndrome. I have made a video about it and I'll put a link to that up here. It's not really a huge deal but it explains so much and this month I've just really enjoyed having permission to struggle. Something else that I managed to do is... <sighs> something else I've managed to do this month is get my hearing aid ear moulds. Not painless, but so much more comfortable than the domes. This was going to be like a whole video on its own, but it turns out plans have changed and there's going to be an update in the future about my hearing aids. And it's, there's not really that much to talk about with it. They filled my ear with putty, took a mould, made my ear moulds, and gave it to me. So I don't have to do the tube things anymore and I haven't done the whole shiver in a couple of weeks since I've had them. So that's good. Something else I had to do this month was to set a boundary on my Instagram, but it also encompasses all of my other social media platforms, but Instagram in particular, because the DMs on there is just not great. I've had to set a boundary that I am not taking questions about my hearing aids via DMs anymore because some, insert expletive here, uh, pretended to be deaf and asked me questions on the guise of oh I'm deaf, I'm getting hearing aids soon um, and they were asking questions at first just about like, you know, ear moulds, domes, uh, shape of hearing aids, what does it look like, what does it look like in your ear because I'm worried about what it might look like, which you know are all valid questions um, and I was more than happy to answer and give advice on it but then it just kind of got weirder and weirder and they kept badgering me about hearing aid moulds and then I posted a picture with them and I mean with them, they were in my ears, they were not the focus and A, about six people were like, oh my god you got hearing aid moulds and I'm just like, okay, wow um, but then this one guy sent me a picture doing unspeakable things to himself saying Yes, your hearing aids are so sexy. And then describing what he'd want to do to my hearing aids. Um, so I'm not going to be getting into hearing aid questions via DMs anymore because I cannot trust the internet. You're obviously free to ask me any questions publicly. Um, and if you are really shy about asking publicly and you don't want your username attached to it in a public space, you can DM me, but I will respond with um, hi, I don't answer these privately anymore, but I will make a public post about it. Um, but also feel free to put them in the comments on like any social media post, any YouTube video, um, you can tweet me publicly, anything sort of public, so that there can be some accountability for anybody who wants to abuse the privilege of being able to ask me stuff, and I hate calling that a privilege, but you know, it's just not nice when someone pretends to be deaf so they can get off on your hearing aids. I also set myself like weekly goals as part of my New Year's resolution type thing um, and I wanted to do more drag looks, I wanted to aim for one a week. I haven't quite managed to do that but I have done a couple of makeup looks um, this year, this month. I've done two of them and then I made some TikToks with one of them 
Um, and if you don't follow me on Papa Smear, that's my drag name, you should definitely go and do that. Links to that are down in the description as always. I also wanted to read one book a month and I've started with Diana, her own words. Um, I'm almost finished. I've got that left. Um, that is going to be my bedtime reading because I'm filming this a few days early because there's been building work and I have a moment of silence. This will be finished by the end of the month. I have no idea what I'm going to read next, but nothing on my bookshelf is something that I want to read. So I think I'm going to order some fiction. We'll see if I have some fiction I can borrow off from somebody. But so far, this has been really good. It's juicy secrets about the royal family and just sort of a perspective from someone that wasn't born into it. Uh, we all know the saga and the story of Diana, but this is just a really interesting take with more information than I've seen in any documentary. And it also explains some of the relationships within the royal family a little bit better. I highly recommend anybody that wants to know more about the royal family. Also, I would like to point out that I'm not a royalist. I don't like the royal family, I like the drama. Next up in my goals, I wanted to finish the scarf I'm making. I can't remember if I showed anybody the scarf, but here, ooh, it's a needle, but need that. Here is the scarf. We're getting there. So this white bit was closer to a square when I started the year, so it was probably about here. So I have knitted this much this year so far. Um, it's going to be as long as the green part, so I'm nowhere near finishing it yet. Um, and it's going to be that flag. It's not even halfway done yet, but I hope you'll enjoy the progress videos every month where I show you the scarf and maybe it might stay this exact length all year, who knows. I don't know if you can tell, but the lighting situation is, in my opinion, from the viewfinder, much better. There's a reason for that. Come here. I bought myself some softbox lights. Um, did not realise how big they were going to be in comparison to my body. Huge. They are quite big, but hopefully now I'm not going to be betrayed by cloud coverage as much as I have been. I haven't really bought anything else this month. I haven't read as much as I wanted to because I have played an ungodly amount of Fortnite. I'm ashamed of myself, honestly. But I won a couple on solo. One of them was really funny because I just hid in a car. Uh, I kept just driving inside the circle and then just sat in the car. And then got out when there was only one person left. And I don't know who they were shooting at, but it wasn't me. So I shot them. If you want to add me on Fortnite, I'm Ouchmouse. It also snowed this month and it settled and it was really thick. And I know, cold air carrier, allergic to cold. I apparently make a big deal about it by making awareness videos. Um, so I shouldn't have gone and played in the snow, but I did. I'm from Cornwall. It doesn't really snow down there. I didn't grow up with snow and it's such a novelty to me when it happens. So. There is not a damn thing anyone or any medical condition can do to stop me from going and playing in the snow when it snows. The rest of my month has just sort of been really, really chill. My bruise from New Year's Eve, Nisus, if you followed me on Instagram and saw that post, has finally healed. Only took literally an entire month. But that's fine, it's gone now. I think that's about all I've done this month. Um, next month, do I have anything fun coming up? Uh, no. I am expecting a letter from Audiology at some point. Uh, more on that when it happens. But so far, nothing planned for February. So the February recap might be a bit short. It might have to be the bonus video. <laughs> Three minutes of being like, yeah, I didn't do anything. So, that has been my January 2021 in review. Don't forget to like this video, drop a comment down below if you have any questions about anything I've said in this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Videos go up every Saturday at 6pm UK time with at least one bonus video every single month. See ya!